Hello everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. Today's Friday, so that means we are building in our red tail zoo and today we are doing something extraordinary. And I know they say that every single week, but today it is actual truth. Today we are building a habitat for our uh, orangutans. And this habitat is quite something. Um, it is enormous, like it is gigantic, so it's ridiculously large that I even had to half in it because it was so big it used to end up like this side of the mountain and the other side um i ended up splitting it by half because it was so immense huge it was ridiculous so luckily it's only half but still you know you had to do that you had to build on it you have to come up with inventive ideas um fun fact bam bamboo sometimes stops animals from escaping not always but sometimes it does and of course, I placed this fence that was actually uh, climbable by the animals, so I had to place elephant grass everywhere. You are looking at a, well, roughly 20 minutes long video. When I was actually filming it, um, it took me over four hours, um, separate obviously over multiple days. I did stream one part of it, I do sometimes stream now, I like to be streaming more in the future, so make sure you check that out. And speaking of future, or actually past, um, this video is pre-recorded. I am pre-recording this. It is now the 5th of May and this video will be out on the 7th of May. But the videos from now until, well, half of June will all be pre-recorded because I'm actually moving. So today um, you may have seen it on my Instagram. I'm not quite sure if you guys follow me on Instagram. If you don't, um, why not? Um, I'm, I'm hilarious, I don't post too often, so I won't be spamming your timeline, don't worry about that. Um, link is, or like my, you know what the link? Link's in the description down below, you can see my um, Instagram handle there, you can follow me, you will find all fun, amazing things. There's a highlight on my actual uh, profile that says moving. You should check that out because um, you get a idea of what I'm doing. And tomorrow I'm actually going to Ikea. I'm going to buy the IKEA. Well, everything in the IKEA. So that's going to be fun. Anyways, um, yeah, so this video is pre recorded and most of them will be just because I'm moving um, and it's gonna take some time. Like today, I packed my books. Um, I love books. Books are like my life. My life consists of books and that's not well, like an overreaction, that's actual truth. Um, I have so many books. My life really i love reading ever since i was a kid so my entire room consisted of books and i had to sort them all and i wanted to get rid of a lot but then i had all my books and i was like yeah i'm not getting rid of these books they're so cool so in the end um i've got rid of five books and though that's because you know um there are books in languages that i didn't understand i had a french book i don't well i speak french but not that well so and um I had a book that I had twice, so you know, you can't keep that. But otherwise, not a lot of books actually left, so only five books. <laughs> so that was kind of, I was hoping, well, not, I wasn't hoping for more, I was expecting more. So that left me with over um, 15 bags, or like these enormous shopping bags full of books and three crates. Anyways, enough about me and my move. You can follow the Instagram, like I said, and there will be after I move everything and I've decorated my new place. Um, there will be a video on here as well, so probably somewhere in July or something. Right now, we are actually focusing on this build because this is an orangutan habitat and we have an underground um, food area, which I was just building. And now we're just gonna nicing it up with some plants. Now, you know me, I love rock work. I love landscaping, it's kind of my juice, it's what I'm good at, it's what I do. And here you can see me doing that, and normally I would cut it out, but I was like, well, you know what, um, you guys might want to see this and now how I do that, you know, not that I'm like that important or inventive, but you know, it is something different. I don't really see a lot of people doing that, so... Oh yeah, and this is me just uh, copy-pasting all the rock work, because why do it again if you can just copy it? Because, you know, it looks great already. So why would I need to do it again for the entire tunnel? Because this tunnel is ridiculously large, which you will see in the end cinematics. So uh, stay tuned for that. Oh, you can see it a little bit there. It was so big. So here we are building our monkey home. And you can see some of the uh, orangutans have actually escaped. Whoops. 
And um, here we are just building the home and I actually, um, I was inspired by one of the zoos that I like to go to. They have like this enormous white uh, monkey house and that contains like all sorts of monkeys but I wanted this only for the uh, orangutan. So I chose to do it. And there you go, I did it. I wanted it, so I did it. And it actually matches up pretty well. It is quite big and um, if I were to build like a city zoo, I would say, Oof, well, this is like the only thing they're gonna get because a lot of city zoos in my country have this. No, that's it, perhaps like a little bit of a very teeny tiny outside area, but normally no. So I got really inspired by this and we are uh, trying out some crazy and inventive um, parts, so like building a top level here with some windows, double walls, and then closing this side off. And I actually really like the way that it ended up and I'm quite proud of it. And I have obviously the tree is going to move in the middle, so don't worry. And then we're going to put some glass berries in there and then we are actually going to do the roof. And you see me pulling it along all the way. And then we are going to have some glass roofs as well because I love natural light. And realizing that, um, like pro tip, please do the roof last because I still had to decorate the inside and I kind of forgot about that. So yeah, kind of gave me some issues in the end. I mean, I managed but it is really annoying so pro tip if you can please do it in the end and obviously we're using the plaster pieces you know they can uh, you can do a lot with them they have like little pieces as well and they're colorable which i love and here we are working on this um roof part here and this was quite tricky because it is on a diagonal and um, i couldn't get it matched up correctly and it's really freaking annoying um, in the end, luckily, um, it did work out and you can see it's clipping a bit, but once you color all that the same color, uh, the clipping usually disappears. And in the end, you know, we had this great roof. Uh, roof, not loof, roof. Putting some sand down and then we are actually going to use uh, some of the plaster pieces, which aren't locked to a grid. You can just freely move them around. And I wanted to use these for the ground because you normally see that in the zoos. You have like um, this like concrete floor. And I was like, yeah, well, you know what? I want to do that for these animals as well. So you can see me fixing it all the way up. And then obviously we needed to work on the inside. And it is quite big. And here I was regretting that um, I actually placed the roof first because it gave me some issues. So here we are just placing um, a top level in, like, yeah, top level. And we are actually going to make sure that the uh, monkeys can climb on their uh, via some ropes and here we are which I remembered what I had in the zoo um, you have like this little setups where they can play on and they're like higher to the guests um, at least you have it like in the zoo where I used to go a lot before it closed I can't wait for the zoos to open again so you use the guest consent on the other side of the window and then you can just you know observe the animals and I actually really love it I love that they've done that and you know we're just gonna do it in game as well and it worked out pretty well obviously um i forgot to recolor it so we're doing that now we had this little tiny bit of space left there but we are going to fix that in a minute and um, we're going to put this um easy placeable plaster piece which i should really be using more because you can build so many things with just the plaster pieces because you have so many of them and all different kinds of shapes and everything which i really like because you know, um, you love me, I love, well, if you know me, that you love me. If you know me, you know that I love uh, building. Even though like sometimes I need some um, more ideas on what, what to build. But I actually think it worked out quite nice, especially with the inside of this um, like home. I think it actually worked out really nice. And then the rest of the habitat is really natural, but I wanted to do something which was more uh, modern especially in this side of the park because we already had this dome here for the uh, gharials and we still have like this entire pathway that i built i'm not quite sure what to place there i was thinking perhaps flamingos but i'm not sure but i want to build something that is you know nice and has uh, a bit of architecture and again guys if you have any requests for any animal or something you would like to see in the zoo or perhaps ideas for other things that i could build please let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm always looking for ideas. You know, I have a lot of myself, but I could always use more. So if you have any ideas, uh, please let me know. 
I usually do something with it, except if um, it's a really weird idea or you know, it really sucks, but I don't believe any of your ideas sucks because the ideas I've had so far are all really good ideas. Same goes for animal requests. If you have like an animal and you're like, oh Nim, can you please build something for this animal? I'll happily do it. Like I honestly I don't mind. I love building anyways. So especially with the reptile zoo, we want to make it a like a complete zoo. So I'm gonna need your you guys' help for some of the things. You know, perhaps you have like this amazing idea or like I oh, always should place this animal because you haven't used that yet. Because to be honest, I don't know how I'm going to fit or what animals I'm going to fit in here because I'm almost out of ideas animal-wise. <laughs> so if you guys have any ideas, that'd be amazing. Because I think we're, luckily we know like we hit the Southeast Asia pack because otherwise we'd almost be out of uh, animals to place and we have still quite a lot more to go. Um, obviously we now have the uh, orangutan, but um, we can also place the rhino, the rhinoceros. Um, but monkey wise, like, we had like the big monkeys. Of course, I could do chimpanzees, but I don't really believe they live in Asia. Obviously, gorillas don't as well, but you know, we are, we're gonna shh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> I could do perhaps capuchins, not quite sure if they live in Asia. Uh, yeah, no, they do, never mind, they do live in Asia. Anyways, uh, I'm rambling on again. I'm just, I'm looking at myself while, while you know, while building this. And I'm just like, wow, that's really inventive. I can't believe I've never did this before. You know, I have so many ideas and I never really execute them very well. And I feel like this is one of the things that actually worked out pretty good, if I may say so. You know, with this entire home, the way that it is, it's all matchy. It's all matches and I'm really happy with the way it ended up. Quite happy with that. Oh, so proud of myself. Oh, yeah, um, no, like this video is pre-recorded, uh, might not respond to comments. I mean, knowing me, when I get a notification on my phone, I will automatically respond to it. So um, you can still uh, comment and everything. But if I don't react as fast as I usually do, you know why. So, also, I'm sorry if you can hear my phone. Like, uh, I'm, I'm on spring break, but my work is just insane. And I'm saying like spring break as if I'm a student. I'm not, I'm a teacher, so we have spring break as well. Oh uh, yeah, here we are going like into the actual habitat. So you can see a little bit more of the surroundings. So here I wanted to build this little bridge for the um, orangutans to walk over. So if you're a guest and you walk underneath it, you're like, ooh, there are monkeys above me. That's so cool. So I'm actually really happy the way that it worked out with the ropes as well. It looks really natural. And in the end cinematics, I believe there was a shot of them walking over it. You can see here it's all traversable, they can all climb on it. I'm really, really happy with the way that it came out. And you can see there I placed like all these rocks to make it like closed off so the animals can't actually escape into the other side because the other side is actually going to be for the Malaysian tapir. So um, there will be a speed build for those animals as well. I'm not quite sure when it's coming out because I also have um, other speed builds planned because, you know, I plan on doing... Um, Oh, you know, something for a contest that I built. I'm not gonna say too much about that, but there is a contest that I participated in and I have a build for that. And as well as a certain uh, community zoo by a certain YouTuber. I'm not gonna say too much about that as well, but that's all coming. So don't worry, calm your horses, it's there. It will all be fine. And here we are working on the little oasis, which I really, really loved, especially in the end when it's near done. Right now it looks a little bit yuck. And then we have like these uh, plants from the aquatic pack and I never really used them, but they look so perfect here with the water. And then we use these bushes and in the end we are going to place a little bit more terrain paint and some trees around. And I absolutely love the way that it looks, especially with the underwater plants, because the guests can actually see in there. Um, like, I'm not sure if the monkeys will be coming that close to the window. Um, it's, it is two-sided glass, no, one-sided glass, I believe, I don't quite remember. They didn't pay attention. I oh, know, it's what, yeah, it's one-sided glass, so they can just look into it. So I'm not sure if the monkeys will come very close, but I really love the way that it ended up uh, looking. And you can see here, like, placing all these trees with the little red flowers. It makes it look so much more alive and, you know, 
done and I'm really happy with the way that it ends up. And here we are doing some terrain paint, which is very important, especially in bigger habitats. Because otherwise you are like stuck with the natural terrain paint and that sometimes can be quite a bit boring and a little bit blunt. And really unnatural if you have like a lot of trees and uh, no dirt, you're like, where's the dirt? Where is it? Well, you wouldn't know because like you didn't place it because you all have like rocks and grass, but there need to be like mellow tones in between there. And there again, you know, I love putting dirt and sands. I feel like that looks really natural, even though I love the um, idea of like all short grass. I don't feel like that's particularly uh, realistic. And here with the monkey house uh, itself, we are placing some sands and then we are fixing up these mountains. And I believe, yeah, here we are placing these palm trees, all those palm trees. This habitat is full of palm trees. And because this habitat is so big and like most of the habitat, um, well not most, but like uh, there is a part in the middle where the guests can't see into it. So the monkeys have privacy. And I didn't really feel the need to um, decorate that part too much because you know, you as a guest can't see it. So what's the point of me to actually landscape it? And this is the other side of the habitat, which actually goes way back, way, way, way back to the other side. And here we are creating this little, um, well, I'll say little, quite big waterfall um, river-like. And I really like the way that it just shapes up. And like, this is the part where we're, where that monkey is. We're like, yeah, you know, the guests don't really get there. So what shall I build there? It's interesting because I don't want to build something that's so interesting that the monkeys won't go to uh, the other parts. So it needs to be, you know, it's, a, it's kind of a hassle to figure out what you want to place there. So I ended up with placing this river. Uh, we are going to make it a bit more uh, deeper because, you know, it was quite shallow. And then just some uh, palm trees and, tro and other uh, tropical trees. We're just going to place them in between to make sure that it doesn't look like, um, like it's a forgotten area. But it also doesn't look like, um, you know, like the monkeys should be there all the time. If that makes sense. I'm not sure if I'm making sense. I probably aren't, but I'm sorry. And here we are building this little waterfall because I love waterfalls. I can't help it. Um, I don't believe I have a single habitat without a waterfall. Wait, that's not true. Wait, is it true? I have very little uh, habitats without a waterfall. Let's just leave it at that. And now we are, you know, just slowly working around this waterfall, making it look pretty with some of the rocks. Like in these rocks formations, I have built them before and we are just going to make sure that they actually look nice. And because you use all of the same rock work throughout the entire zoo, it actually looks like one zoo and it looks like um, very natural and that's it's intentional. And that's something I really enjoy doing, you know, making it look intentional. I like it's actually really nice. You know, and that's what doing like placing all these rocks like uh, you would say like, oh, it's so random. Yes, I am placing them at random points. But um, it also makes it look very natural. And here we are, you know, placing little crossways for the animals to go from one way to the other way, or one side to the other side of the uh, river. And I'm actually really happy with the way that it turned out and it looks. And it is a few little oases, you know, placing some palm trees, making it look um, like it's really dense because, you know, we are in the subtropical rainforest, so. You're gonna need to have like a, a dense forest, otherwise it's kind of a fake forest <laughs> or a fake rainforest. I've never been to a rainforest, but I always see that like they're really dense. And here we are, you know, filling it up with plants. These aquatic plants are so nice. Like they do wonders for the style because I have this little bit of a, a redness in the, in the tree trunk. And I dig it, like I really dig it. It looks so good. And I also found out that you can actually change the color of the water. I don't know in what pack that came, uh, probably the aquatic already, or what update, I have no clue. I just found it out and I am so happy with it. It looks absolutely amazing. And I'm, you know, kind of annoyed that I didn't realize that before. But whatever. <laughs> we can work around it as well. Ooh, we're already at the cinematics. Ooh, guys, ooh, I'm talking too much. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, comment, and possibly subscribe to the channel. And I will hope to see you on the next episode. <laughs> Bye, guys.